How does a credit card work? A credit card is a widely used financial tool that allows individuals to borrow money from a bank or financial institution to make purchases. Here is an in-depth explanation of how a credit card works. Application. To obtain a credit card, you need to apply for one with a bank or credit card issuer. The application process typically involves providing personal information, such as your name, address, social security number, and income details. The bank will evaluate your creditworthiness by checking your credit history and income level. Credit limit. Once your application is approved, the bank assigns you a credit limit, which is the maximum amount of money you can borrow on the card. This limit is determined based on factors like your credit score, income, and existing debts. Card activation. Upon receiving the credit card, you usually need to activate it by following the instructions provided by the issuer. Activation may involve calling a toll-free number or going online to verify your identity. Card usage. Once activated, you can use your credit card to make purchases at various merchants both online and in physical stores. You provide the card details, including the card number, expiration date, and security code, CVV, CVC, to complete the transaction. Billing cycle. Each credit card has a billing cycle, which is typically a 30-day period during which your purchases are tracked. At the end of the billing cycle, the credit card issuer generates a statement that details all the transactions made during that period. Minimum payment. The credit card statement will indicate a minimum payment amount, which is the smallest amount you need to pay by the due date to avoid late fees and penalties. This payment typically represents a small percentage of your total outstanding balance. Grace period. Most credit cards offer a grace period, typically between 21 and 25 days, during which you can pay your outstanding balance in full without incurring any interest charges. If you pay your balance in full within this period, you won't have to pay any interest on your purchases. Interest charges. If you carry a balance beyond the grace period, the credit card issuer will charge you interest on the remaining amount. This interest rate is typically expressed as an annual percentage rate, APR, and can vary depending on the card and your creditworthiness. Rewards and benefits. Many credit cards offer rewards programs, which allow you to earn points, cash back, or other incentives for your purchases. These rewards can be redeemed for various perks, such as travel discounts, gift cards, or statement credits. Credit score impact. Your credit card usage and payment history can affect your credit score. Timely payments and responsible credit utilization can help improve your credit score, while late payments and high levels of debt can have a negative impact. Additional fees. Apart from interest charges, credit cards may have other fees, such as annual fees, balance transfer fees, foreign transaction fees, and cash advance fees. It's important to read the terms and conditions of your credit card to understand these fees. Security measures. Credit cards come with various security features to protect against fraud, including EMV chips, pins, and CVV codes. Additionally, 
Most credit card issuers offer zero liability policies, which protect you from unauthorized charges if your card is lost or stolen. It's important to note that this explanation provides a general overview, and specific terms and conditions may vary depending on the credit card issuer and the type of card you have. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.